Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of New Arrivals. We are very happy to be back. We are very happy that Susan is feeling better today. It's time for new guitars and uh, we got plenty of them. So we are ready to show. So the first one here we got is, uh, is a very nice one. It's a Collings OM3. We got a very nice batch of Collings. Some of the guitars were sold, but actually some of them drip online in the next day. So if you're interested in the Collings, go check out the website. They don't come to, uh, online too often. Underroom this. Oh, I'm free, and the free style by Collings stands for um, beautiful abalone rosette, Sitka spruce top, Indian rose back and sides here with the zipper back, mahogany neck of course, ebony fretboard. Yeah, it's a super good finger picker. So let's let's give it a spin. Yeah, so the next one up is, is quite a, a rare and interesting one as well. It's this beautiful Sega de Jonge. Um, and this one was made for the Holy Grail Guitar Show. So for the people who don't know the Holy Grail Guitar Show, this used to be a very cool show in Berlin uh, where the best of the best guitar makers from all over the world gather around uh, and show off what they were able to do. To do. And, and for, this, for that year when this guitar was made, uh, they had a challenge to make a guitar from all local tone woods in Sega de Jonge. Uh, living in Canada did so. So he used his Macacaba back and sides, a white spruce top, also Macacaba fingerboard and bridge and uh, of course the Canadian maple for the neck and uh, this guitar turns out to be beautiful sounding. So it's not always rosewood or mahogany paired with Adirondack top and rosewood or ebony fingerboard to make it sound. It's also um, the talent of the guitar makers that you can find back in these guitars that with any tone wood you can make beautiful guitars, as long as you are a good artist. When you play it, you feel it's incredibly light and it also sounds like that. It's a super nice light sound uh, that's really joyful to play and that, that actually invites you to play further and further and longer and longer. So the next one up is quite a cool one from, from Loudon. It's um, their Pierre Ben Susan model. They make two of them. They have the old lady and this was the first one. And this is a Loudon F shape. So it's a really nice Grand Auditorium style shape with Adirondack spruce top, beautiful rosewood, Honduran rosewood back and sides. Maple neck uh, with a very nice finger style string spacing and nut width. So for all the finger style lovers, this guitar is just great. Also has the bevel for extra comfort. Here it has one extra fret laid over that they usually only do in the 50 styles, but for the signature series they did that. So if you're into arts and guitars, then stay tuned because then the next one might be very interesting because this is a very cool one from the 19 from 1959. This is a tree lamp four color, super rare. You don't see them too often. Comes with the matching M. And uh, for the people who don't know Wandre, they made guitars in the late 50s, early 60s, and they used a very modern approach. You can already see it, of course, it's more art than guitar. But also here on the neck, they use alu aluminum uh, neck. And when you look at it, you think, well, oh, this is super uncomfortable. When you play it, it feel, actually feels quite okay. It's just, that's also why they use this strip. It feels a bit cold, especially on colder days, when you have this guitar in your living room. You need to warm up that aluminum first. This one is all original condition, even the plastics are still here. 
uh, which was very trendy and hip, of course, in the late 50s, early 60s. And it's actually in superb shape. It comes with this original amp with it. Um, so it's a very cool 56, 50 set. So if you're into art and you want to have a guitar that fits really cool with all your art stuff, uh, or you want something unique and something that you, that you don't have yet in your collection, then this might want, you might want to consider a Wondre. All right, last but not least is a very rare one and something that I have not seen in my life before. So this is originally a 1968 uh, D28, but that they converted to a 37. Uh, and you wonder how, are they, how on earth did they do that? Well, they ordered a new neck with Martin, so it's the original Martin neck. They changed the top to a moon-locked Italian spruce top from the best grades and you can see the graining on the top is just absolutely beautiful. They used the old back and sides, they used the old bracing, they used the old heel block and end block for this guitar and voila, this is what you get. You get this feel from, the, from an authentic, so it's actually an authentic made 68 D28. It sounds super warm, super open, super strong uh, and it's a very cool unique story on this one. And, <laughs> I haven't even mentioned this beautiful set of Brazilian that they had on this 68. Super straight grain. So that was it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. I really hope you enjoyed the videos. Let us know which one you like most and why. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, go check out the website if you want to have some more details on the guitars and we hope to see you in the store. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Cheers. Hiya.